For as long as Peep and Quack have known Chirp, she's been trying to fly. <laughs> without success. Maybe you should rest. You've already tried... One, two, three, two... Twenty-seven times! Twenty-eight. Ow. Ow. Huh. Your bottom's getting flat. I think you should try something else. Like what? Like swimming. Yeah, it's time you learned how to swim. It's like flying in water. <sighs> Maybe you're right. All right, lesson one, getting into the water. Now pay attention, this is very scientific. Lesson two, moving in water. Watch closely. The feet must move without you even thinking. The mind, a total blank. I can do it without getting wet. Without getting wet? That's impossible! Then forget it. There's nothing I hate more than getting wet. No! Fresh cherries taste like if I can't fly up there and get some. Hmm. Maybe you should look at how other birds fly and then try to do the same thing. I never thought of that. Thanks, Peep. So Chirp set out to discover how other birds fly. Quack thought she should start with seagulls because they make flying look easy. flapping, but look at that. No flapping! See what I mean? At least I'm not wet. Try again. I think you were flapping, uh, I think you were flapping too much. Kind of over flapping, yeah. Think floaty. I'm floaty. I'm floaty. I'm floaty. I'm floaty! I'm... <laughs> Can we look at a different bird? Next, they studied a hummingbird. Those wings go. I, I, I don't think you're flapping enough. No, lack of flapping, yeah. Let's try something else. 
Pete took them to look at a butterfly. You have to get them uh, back till they touch. Closer in front, that closer behind. That's it, that's it. I am not a butterfly. See? Just make your wings like a shell. And um No. On their way home, Pete Chirp and Quack ran into the raccoon, who quickly explained why Chirp was having trouble. Look, there's more to flying than flapping your wings. See? We call that forward propulsion. Pro what? Ah! You just need someone to throw you. I don't know. That thing doesn't fly. It, it just glides and... <laughs> Uh, you're too round. You need to act more pointy. That's it. No more. I'm a little red robin. I'm not a seagull or a hummingbird or a butterfly or a bug or a piece of paper. How do they do it? What do grown-up birds have that I haven't got? <gasps> A full-grown feather. Hey! My hat! Almost flew. And I landed on my feet. You can land. That's part of flying. It's the end part. Someday I'll be able to do it. Then I'll get to taste a really fresh cherry. Mm -hmm. Oh! Huh? A cherry! Quack! Hold it right there! Don't move! <laughs> Shouldn't we share? I mean, you know, I did catch it, and, uh, you know, I don't really want to wait until your feathers grow in. I mean, good golly, that could take a long time. Well, you know, I mean, we don't... I mean, who am I to say? I mean, it's your cherry, right? But, uh, you know, I am your friend. You 